Okay, first let me just start off by saying please excuse how disheveled I look at the moment. I just got home from collecting a couple packages at my, I don't remember if I told you, but like I signed up for one of those, you know, like UPS store package services since I'm never home when the package people come. And so, you know, when I used to actually have an office, I could send all my packages there, but no longer. So, I was on my way home from lunch, and it's hot and muggy, like it's kind of going to rain, but I got, you know, a note that I had a couple packages, so I was like, oh, I'll go pick them up on my way home. And those, see how big those two packages are? Like, this is pretty big. Like, so this is what I just did. Well, the black one was in a, um, you know, in a brown box too. But I just carried this for like, like four blocks, which might not be a long walk other when you're carrying like, I don't know, 15, 20 pounds worth of fashion. I'm literally a slave to fashion. <laughs> anyway, so I thought I would do a haul. And I have some things that I already got. Um, so basically, here's what happened. I ordered... I ordered a few things from Bergdorf's because they were having one of their gift card events. And part of that experience was disappointing because, um, one, it takes them days to even ship anything to you. And then two, you know, I think they ship from different stores. So you get like three or four different packages at different times. Um, and actually the other disappointment was one of the things I ordered you know, I ordered it, it was fine, and then later it said back ordered, and then they canceled it because it was no longer available. So that was frustrating. Um, and then I also ordered some stuff from net a -Portay that I had in my, I've had in my cart for a while. So I figured we could go through all of it. So where shall we start? I guess we can start with, um, I'll do like try, I'll do separate try-ons also not I haven't anyway they'll be in this video somewhere but the first thing here from Bergdorf's I thought I cut this package open yeah I did um so I have the Stuart Weitzman I think they're called the Thailand boots Ugh. there yeah so the Stuart Weitzman Thailand boots I don't know if you can see that. I got feedback that I don't hold things up long enough, so hopefully it's in focus. It's hard for me to tell without my reading glasses. But I will, you know, link everything that I can, so even if you can't see it, it doesn't matter. Um, but I have them in navy, and I hemmed and hawed all last year over whether or not to get them in gray also. And because there was a gift card event, you know, I essentially got like 20% off as a result of the fact that I'll get a gift card back. So I got them in the gray also. Although I'm wondering if I should have gotten black. Um, only because I feel like anything I could wear the gray with, I could probably also wear the navy with. Um, whereas black, like if I'm wearing black, I don't know. But... I love these boots. They're really comfortable. I love that they have a little bit of a point of a toe. I love the, um, the chunky heel. They're just a really, really lovely boot. Um, and I got a size eight and a half. I haven't tried these on yet, but I will in the try on. Um, in Stuart Weitzman's, for me, I always have to size down. So I am generally a size nine, but in these, you know, in any Stuart Weitzman, I'm always at least an eight and a half. But if I recall in my navy ones, I feel like I could probably have even gone to an eight. So when I try it on, we'll see what the fit of this is like. Okay. Then to continue with the Bergdorf haul. Okay. I got this. I think this is Joseph. Um, where is the tag? Of course, I can't read anything. Yeah, this is Joseph. Um, 
there is the tag. But it's a cozy navy like poncho knit thing. And the side, and I'll show you when I try it on, but the side is all slit. So you definitely, like, you can't really wear it just as a sweater unless you want to be naked on the side. Um, but this is a really nice, this is really nice for the fall, especially the days when you don't really need a coat, but you need something, you know, snugly and warm. So that's one, the other thing. And then I also got, this is a Toile Isabel Morant. Um... I don't know if you can see it there, but I will link it. And it's this like oversized like knit jacket. I'm going to try this on like with, you know, how I would think I would wear it. And then we can decide if I should keep it or not. Because when it came, I was expecting it to be less of a knit and more of a jacket, but it's definitely like a cozy knit sweater. And I got whatever the largest size is and it's, it's definitely like oversized, even on me. Um, okay, so those are the items I got from Bergdorf. And then from Netaporte. And these big boxes, by the way, so I'm like, it's already like six, it's still six weeks away. The, my, you know, semi little move to New York City. Um, I don't know if I've told you guys, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do an apartment at least for October and November, a short term furnished rental. Um, and then, you know, if and when I get a job that I'm happy with and I like being there, I'll get like a long term apartment and then really move stuff. But for the short term, I'm really, you know, I'm not going to move. I'm still, I have this apartment I'm going to keep for the, you know, near future. Um, so really what I need to bring is like, really just like wardrobe type of stuff and, you know, toiletries and all that. But you know me and my wardrobe. It's like, if I'm going to be gone for two whole months in the fall, when I like to dress the most with all these fun coats and boots and everything, like, how am I getting it all there? So all these big boxes, I think are going to come in really handy because I'm going to have to somehow ship myself a bunch of stuff. Um, but anyway, so let's get this started. Okay. Yes, everything is in here. Okay, so I ordered this. I'm surprised it's not hanging. You know, Netta Porte usually is better about how they send you things. I'm like kind of disappointed this was kind of just shoved in there. But this is an APC jacket in navy. Um, it's kind of like a little swing type jacket. It's got a nice little like detail at the sleeve and kind of like a Peter Panish collar. And I was thinking, I have an old navy Tahari, kind of a peacoat, but it's got like a ruffle down here. And I'm kind of over the ruffle, so I was thinking this might be a replacement for that. This is like a mid-weight woolish type jacket. Um, what does this say? Yeah, I don't know what it's made of, but... Here's the tag in any event. Oops. Um, oh, sorry. There it is. And that's kind of the weight of my other one. Like, it's not really, it's not a winter coat. It's definitely a, a fall. Maybe if you're in, if you're in like a more temperate climate, like in England, where it doesn't get really cold winters, this is probably a winter coat for you. In the Northeast, this is more of a, you know, late fall kind of jacket. So I got that, and then, see I can't believe this stuff isn't hanging. I got this really cute McHugh Alexander McQueen dress. Where is the tag, let's see. But again, I will link everything, so if you didn't get a good look at the tag, look in the description box. But, um, like, this will be really cute with my over-the-knee boots, like, with the gray ones, or probably my navy ones, for that matter. So we'll try all this on. Hopefully, I hope this fits, because I really like it. Um, you know, like, last year, I got that Chloe 
boho, you know, this is a little less boho, but you know, kind of this style dress. And I just loved it so much it, with my over the knee boots that I thought I would like to have another similar style dress. And I may have mentioned in one of my recent videos that I had ordered some stuff from Zara. I mentioned it in the context of how Zara, like I feel like their shipping and customer service is way better than even Bergdorf's. You know, so like here you have a fast fashion store whose delivery is way better than a really like a high end designer store. Um, Cause literally I ordered stuff the same day. The day I received my stuff from Zara was the day Bergdorf's had even shipped me it, the first thing. <laughs> Um, but unfortunately the Zara stuff, while really cute, was like these like, um, fall floral dresses, but more with a black ground instead of a white ground. Um, they were too small for me, you know, even in the extra large, like they were definitely too small for me, but they were super cute, but I didn't even show them to you because I couldn't even, I, I just took them back right away. Okay. Then I have worn my Chanel slingbacks. You know the 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 tan with the cap, the black cap toe, so much, and I have loved them so much that I was like, I would like a similar something for the fall, but not obviously a slingback. And then I saw, I don't even know. I think I just came upon these in my like random, you know, hunting around on the interwebs. But I saw these Jean Vito Rossi booties, and I love them. Um, and I thought they would be the perfect, like, you know, if I want that look, but in the fall when I need a booty. And I'm really excited because these booties, and you'll see I got another pair of booties too, I'm hoping are going to be super cute with the new 3 by one jeans I got. So I'm going to try these on. I'm going to try it all on, and I'm going to try them on with those jeans so you can see um, how they look. But So I got those. And then the other thing I was in the market for was... I wanted a pair of silver booties, and I was thinking of buying the Anina Bing ones um, because I have a pair of the Anina Bing booties in brown. You know, but now that I think about it, I have like three different pairs of kind of brown booties, <laughs> and I don't need any more. Um, I probably didn't need those Anina Bing ones, even though I bought them like six months ago. But um, I was thinking of get, getting them in silver until I saw these by Acne. Oh, I should show you two, which I didn't um, just... So I got a 39. You know, one of the things I really love about net porte is they, their website, I wish all websites did this, but I especially wish all high-end designer websites did this. They are really good about giving you, like, like for clothing, literally the measurements of that outfit. Not a general size, guys guide but that particular item so that's why I know like like I have a big chest like a lot of times that like a, Mc, a McQueen dress like that might not fit me but I think it might because they gave me measurements that led me to believe that it might same thing with the shoes they'll say to you this fits regular take your regular size this runs small this runs big it's meant to be big you know things like that and so that's one of my favorite things about that Oh, but here is the info on these booties. And here they are. They're super cute. They're kind of a little spacey looking. Anyway, we'll try them on and see if we like them. So that is the end of my haul. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. I think I'm going to insert all the try-on stuff. I think at this point in this video, you'll have already seen it all. I don't think I'm going to put it at the end. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, so maybe now that I've tried everything on, this video isn't exactly done, because a couple things. One, the Jean Vito Rossi booties are definitely... I would say they're, that the net porte site was correct. They're true to size, but they're definitely snug. So they fit lengthwise, which is the true measure of the fit. They feel a little snug width-wise, but I know they're soft leather. I know they're going to stretch, and I love them. Um, the APC coat, this one, I love it. 
it's definitely like I think this is the largest size you can get. So if you're my size or bigger, like if you're any bigger than me, this will be snug because it's a little snug at the arms for me, um, but it fits me everywhere else. So I don't know that I could wear a real chunky knit underneath this, but I could wear. I have a lot of like thin little sweaters, so I think I'm gonna keep it. Um, this McHugh McQueen dress is super cute. It's not, I'm, I'm trying to decide, like I really like it. My only concern is the length. It is short. Now, I think the short is okay when you wear it with an over the knee boot like this. And I can wear it with like leather leggings and stuff, so I may keep it. Um, the only thing is I may have to get a different, so there's a slip that's attached in here. And like literally, the slip is like that short. And I'd rather the slip, I almost would maybe get a slip that's even a little longer and like sticks out a little bit at the bottom to make this dress a little bit longer. Cause while I'm standing it's fine, but I don't know, like if I sit down or bend or anything, I might be showing off more than I really want to. And then I love the Stuart Weitzman boots, but I'm still deciding if I need gray when I already have the Navi. Um, oh, and the, the other thing I'll mention, just, so you know how net porte like, they always have these tags on all the clothes, and you can't return them when you take, if you have already taken this off, but this dress, like, when I was putting it on, I'm like, why, like, literally, like, I had this weird, like, pulling here, because the way they had put this tag on, it was in two pieces, like it went in one here and out here, and so it really like, you couldn't get the arm on. So I called them and I said, because I'm, I'm worried, like I was worried that it was too short, like I might have to send it back, but I couldn't really try it on to tell, because I had to take the tag off. But I called them, they apparently made a note in my order. So if I do decide to return it, they should accept it. Um, I did tell them the crumpled mess that the dress and the coat arrived in, they were sorry for that. I honestly, it's not that big of a deal, I just feel like they should know because they're known for like their beautiful packaging and somebody clearly dropped the ball. So now that is the end of this haul. Um, you'll have to let me know what you think of everything. Do I keep this dress? I feel like I might keep it, but I think if I get a longer slip, I'll be happier. Okay, the end. <laughs>